It's Thursday, the 30th of April, the day after the fire. And we're here in the storage area where a lot of the contents that were safely removed were delivered last night. But this is uh, one of the three paintings that they had to cut it out of its frame. We're going to check it, do a condition report before it goes off to the conservator's studio. Part of the difficulty, as you can see, is where do we store things? Because we have really limited space. Here we have a rather interesting problem because in the house they were putting silver into the case and of course when it was brought here, the key didn't come with it. This writing desk and dressing table was um, rescued by the fire services and I found that it came out with already some charred fragments of other burnt timber that had fallen down on top of it. We were able to salvage these two busts from the marble hall. They were actually lying within the rubble, the fire brigade decided to go in and, and remove them. It's now May 1st, which is the second day after the fire, and we've been incredibly grateful to the school because they closed the school for two days, and the staff have been in every single day to just help us, and we just can't thank them enough. I thought I also ought to record our very valiant and heroic staff who have spent two nights here guarding all the contents which are stored here in the school. I think endless cups of coffee, donuts and various things have kept them going all through the night and the morning. We're hoping this is one of the Barlows and yes it is. This is the ostrich and it's such a great painting. This was in the marble hall and the companion, we're hoping, the casuari is also here. There we are, the last painting from the house. It is the Kazuari. So at least the two big Barlows from the entrance hall survived. Right, it's the end of the second day, and we've finished all the work on the pictures. And when we've come down to have a final look at the house, what we're seeing now is the speaker's parlor. You can see that the shutters still survive. The curtains survive too. And so I'm hoping that uh, there were what are called overdoors, literally paintings that are hanging over doors, they might have survived. This is what's left of the house. But we're fairly optimistic because I'm hoping that you know, something maybe has survived in the rubble. You never know.